Okay, in this video I am going to show you the correct way to record prepayments to vendors, advances, uh, prepaid expenses to vendors in QuickBooks. Um, I'm going to show you the, the wrong way first and then I'm going to show you two ways that you can you can uh, correct this. Okay, so I've set up a company here, a test company. It's a trucking company. I set up my bank account with plenty of money. I set up a prepaid expense account here, which we're not going to use yet. We're going to use this in the correct example. And my account's payable. And the, um, the trucker that we're paying is John Doe. So the wrong way to do this is um, what, what this trucker is going to require is a 50% advance before their, their trip and their total trip is estimated to be a thousand dollars and we're gonna advance this trucker five hundred dollars before he goes on the trip so the wrong way to do this is to write a check to the trucker for five hundred dollars and put this five hundred dollars to accounts payable and we'll just say advance right here so what this does is this negative 500 is actually making a debit balance in your accounts payable which is not the correct way to record this so what happens is um, the wrong way to do this you record this and then when the vendor comes back and bills for the full amount they're either gonna bill five hundred dollars for the remainder or they're gonna bill the full thousand so we're gonna say that they bill the full thousand and there's actually a credit for five hundred they bill the full thousand we're going to call it automotive expense. So now in our chart of accounts, we have a payable, a correct credit balance of $500, which is what we actually owe to this trucker. However, when you go to pay bills, the only invoice in here is for 1000 And you're kind of stuck how to use that $500. Where is that? And um, if you do it this way, that that $500 prepayment might just sort of get lost in the in the mix and you might never get it out so your correct accounts payable balance might be incorrectly stated the whole time so now I'm gonna show you the correct way so I'm gonna delete these two that I just made we're gonna delete the bill and I'm gonna delete that first check that advance that I wrote so we're starting fresh okay so there's two ways that you can do this the first way is a little harder than the second way so I'm going to show you the first way first and you can pick whichever works best for you so we're going to write a check to this trucker John Doe five hundred dollar advance and we're going to put this correctly to a uh, an other asset account prepaid expenses I have a sub account here specifically for John Doe and we're gonna put it to there that way we have an asset right here for the prepayment it's not an accounts payable because if John doesn't make this trip we're gonna get this five hundred dollars back so it is actually an asset until he makes this trip so John makes the trip he comes back he bills us for the full one thousand dollars and we um, record it here automotive expense for John's trip and save and close so here in the chart of accounts we have accounts payable of a thousand which is incorrect and we have the prepayment of 500 which is also incorrect because he's made the trip so you can make a journal entry to um, we are going to uh, we're going to debit accounts payable so we're lowering accounts payable you have, to, you have to have the name in here to associate it with an account and the account that we're going to credit is the John Doe prepayments for 500 save and close now you can see in our chart of accounts we wiped out the prepayment and we now have a payable balance liability of 500 which is correct then when we pay bills we're gonna have a thousand here so it's still kind of kind of weird you're gonna have to work with that and pay 500 
and do it that way. But then it's it, on the back end inside of QuickBooks, it's going to get messy. Um, your numbers on the front side will be right, but you might have some weird stuff going on on the background. So I'm going to show you the, the easiest way to do this and the way that I would do it personally. Okay, so I'm going to delete out that journal entry that I just made. Okay, so we're back to having the prepaid and the invoice that came in. But on that invoice, here's how I'm going to enter that. So he bills for 1000 but he's actually only wanting 500 So we're only going to pay him $500 more. So I'm going to put the total amount due is 500 We're still going to bill or charge um, automotive expense for the full 1000 However, we're going to um, credit the prepaid expense for John Doe here for 500 So we have a total expenses showing of 500 here, but it's actually 1,000 expense and a minus 500 from prepaid expense. Total bill, $500. Save and close. Now we have a correct accounts payable balance of 500 no prepaid and when you go to pay bills you're going to show 500 which is actually what you need to pay I hope this helps